Former President Donald Trump spoke at a civil fraud trial in New York today, but it wasn't the typical closing argument. His attorney asked the judge to reconsider allowing Trump to speak. The judge trying to reason with Trump, but he spoke for five minutes, disregarding the judge's request. ABC's Aaron Katursky is in New York at the courthouse. Former President Donald Trump ignored a judge's restrictions and denounced the civil fraud trial in New York as a witch hunt and a persecution by someone running for office. This is a case that should have never been brought, and it was brought. New York Attorney General Letitia James accused Trump, his eldest sons Eric and Don Jr., and the top Trump Organization executives of conducting a decade's worth of business based on numerous acts of fraud and misrepresentations, inflating Trump's net worth in order to get more favorable loan terms. The judge in the case has already ruled that Trump had submitted fraudulent valuations for his assets. The same judge will now decide what penalty, if any, the defendant should receive. The former president has denied all wrongdoing, and his attorney, Chris Kyes, in a closing argument, said Trump's net worth was a product, not of fraud, but of his business skill. He also argued the case was manufactured to pursue a political agenda by Letitia James. After his attorney finished the closing arguments, Trump, seated at the defense table, offered his own five-minute summation, calling the case a witch hunt and saying his financial statements were perfect. We've proven this case so conclusively. Uh, we've asked for directed verdict many times. Uh, they don't have any facts. They don't have any evidence against us. Court officials say presiding judge Arthur N. Gorin received a bomb threat at his home this morning. Police on Long Island responded. No bomb was found. Trump has lashed out at the judge and the attorney general. The judge in October imposed a partial gag order after Trump disparaged his law clerk on social media. Trump could be barred from doing business in the New York real estate industry and face a $370 million fine. The judge expects to have a final decision by the end of the month or early next. Aaron Katursky, ABC News, New York.